Eventually, I had transferred all of my son Todd's memories to my son, Victor. Now they were truly identical, except for one thing. Victor, you have been with me every day of your life, and I cherish that bond. But now that bond has to be broken. I'm so sorry. But this has to be perfect. Right down to the last detail. Forgive me, my son. trouble to make us look identical why do we have different faces Irene which of these men is Victor and which is Todd either you're gonna tell me what that was about you're gonna wear out the carpet look you walk in here and you tell us that Todd's dead mother is alive and, and that she's somehow responsible you just for the can't fact that we have been taught to, to just... just sit here these men, your sons, you have scarred them in so many ways. The least you can do is tell them who they are and do it now. What's important is that we brought Irene back, we can interrogate her and force her to tell us why there are two men claiming to be Todd Manning. So John's with Irene right this very minute. Uh, he's at Lanfair. Vicky's there too, and the guy with the scar on his face. Well, then Todd must be there, too, because when I saw him before, he said he was going to go over to his sister's and, and see her. Where are you going? I'm going to go over to Vicky's. No, no, I'm going to go. If they're trying to figure out if the two Todds are, I should be there. Well, I should be I, there, my too. My family. No, 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 it's no one's going man. anywhere. You're going, no, listen to me. You're to try to stop me. No, no, you can't stop me. Hey, Bane and I were both shot at, all right? We were almost killed, so nobody's going anywhere. Got it? Just be patient. We will know when McBain knows. Lieutenant McBain, mm. I thought this was to be a private family meeting. Oh, don't mind me. Then again, you are in police custody, and every word you said has been recorded. For all the good it will do you. Can we just get on with it, please? Of course. As I mentioned, Victor was a very quick study, and in no time at all, he knew all about his brother Todd, his life, his loves, his history. And with his new scar, he looked exactly like him. They killed a man. By accident. His name is Swade. Luna gave me this skull. Perfect. Of course, I expect nothing less than that from you, Victor. It was time to send Victor in as Todd to do the work the agency needed. However, there was one slight little problem. Mitch Lawrence. He'd left Todd for dead in that tomb. If Mitch were to find Victor very much alive and looking like Todd, he'd kill him. I couldn't let that happen. I needed to find a way to neutralize Mitch. And then I stumbled on the perfect solution. And just sit here. When everything's going on at Vicky's, I'm going over there. Oh, I see. You can kiss my husband again? Excuse me? Your girlfriend came on to my husband. Vicky, this is... This is nuts. We're just gonna stand here and listen to some, some strange woman. What if this is all lies? Well, we should at least hear it first, don't you think? Thank you. I can assure you that everything I am telling you is the truth. Why would I lie? The agency has been exposed. There are no more secrets. Well, then how did you neutralize Mitch Lawrence? The solution was staring me right in the face. Literally. There had to be a way to fool Mitch and give Victor more time to become Todd.
I'd found the answer. What are you saying about Walker Lawrence? You have to admit it was an inspired idea. I could fool Mitch into believing that his long lost brother had resurfaced and Victor would have a chance to know Vicky, Blair and Star as Walker before he had to approach them as Todd. And Victor just went along with this? Well, I assured him that he was still going to get what he was entitled to. He just had to be someone else first. You said someone else. What are you saying? I did not come on to Todd. You kissed him. It was a test. I was just trying to figure out who the real deal oh, was. Right. That's so that's why the two of you were tearing into. Well, yes, when because your up. sister is overreacting. Let's see if again. Thomas agrees. Okay. All right. Well, you were out risking your life. Blair was making out with my husband. It was a kiss. Oh, is that all it was? God, why are you being? Why are you so insecure? Why are you so desperate? I don't want your husband. Oh, then maybe you don't make out with him. All right, enough. All that. right. She okay. started it. I'm ending it. Get the hell out of my house, Blair. Now. I can't believe that you're actually kicking me out of your house. Esta chica no se quiere en esta casa, hermano, eh? De acuerdo. A little space might be a good idea. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm going to leave if I'm not welcome. But please, would you do me the common courtesy to give me a call if this Irene woman decides to enlighten us about Todd 1 and Todd 2? Why don't you just try your taste test again? What exactly are you saying? You are my son, my beloved Victor. And you are Todd. That's a lie. I know who I am. I'm talking. Uh, see, you're a liar. The story is very far fetched. That's right. But true, nonetheless. Well, <laughs> I don't remember any of it. Why is that? You had been brainwashed by the best. I did all of this for you, darling. For your legacy. Get her, get her. Get her out of here. John, I, get her out of here. I all of Arrest her! Of our life right now! Life. Commit her! You have to Spit her, her damn! Don't you. bury her ass! Stop it! I am I, Todd Mick. What? Sorry, what did you call I, me? I called you Victor. Because that's your name. No. Don't call me that. Why not? It is your name. That woman had better keep her hands off my husband. <laughs> she calls herself my friend, or I will die. You what? You're right. It's not her fault. God, I almost just attacked her. I did attack her. I don't care if she kisses Todd or not. It's not like I'm threatened. I mean, he loves me, and I, I love him, too. It's just... What if he's not Todd? <laughs> then what, huh? Uh. <gasps> what happens to my marriage? I'm so sorry, Todd. Call him Victor. Is that my name? Bravo. I am really proud of myself. It was a brilliant plan. Victor had months and months as Walker Lawrence before he had to be convincing as Todd. Blair fell in love with him. His children fell in love with him, all the while thinking he was Walker. And soon, Todd was free to surface. Of course, we couldn't have him announce himself. We let one of his loved ones do it for him. He started dropping hints, knowing that Star was smart enough to figure it out. 
All Victor had to do was play his part. It was the perfect plan. No. That's a lie, right? No, it's all lies. Of course, I don't expect you to remember any of this, darling. Just know, you were magnificent. You became Todd. And you helped the agency with all kinds of nasty little jobs. Well, I don't know about your story, lady, but you are a piece of work. I thank you, Lieutenant. Although I should be cross with you. You ruined everything. What does Todd know? Let's go. Goodbye, boys. Oh, in case you think this is the end of this, guess again. Todd, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Don't be sorry. I know who I am. This is a time when I really wish I could still have a drink. I told you so. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm laughing. That's the only way, really. Wow. Have a hug. My brother doesn't like hugs. Your brother was locked up for eight years. The only time anybody ever touched me was to torture me. I could use your hug now. Tomas told me that he and John uh, found Irene Manning, your, your mom. And sh she's alive. No, I just saw her. What'd she tell you? <laughs>